we're back. Hello, guys. How you doing? Yeah, I just hate flying through asteroid fields. You have to go so slow. I mean, you don't have to, but it's much safer. I mean, do they damage you quite a bit? Oh, yeah, they can kill you. Oh, really? Yeah, asteroids can one-shot you. Ugh. How is this mission going? You killed these first three, and then you have to go to another location? Yep. Gotta go meet up with a warship. Okay, that's right. It's our warship, right? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I... The briefings happen, but, you know, I just kind of... Charlie doesn't pay attention. I just laugh at, like, how quick it cuts you off. That's... I'm too busy doing that. All right. What is this? Four more? These look like different ships, though. Bada -bada -bada. Do you have, we have missiles, don't we? Yep. If it gets really hairy. Glad to have you with us, Lieutenant Blair. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, it is the same. Well, it's slightly different, I guess. These were the ones that gave us trouble before. Yes, there we go. Love to see it. Very nice. Is there another, like, flight uh, dogfight sort of space dogfight game like this that you like as well? Like, in the um, genre? Um, I don't know. Have you played a lot of To be completely ones? honest. Nice. Man, you're freaking killing it out here, quite literally, man. Did Maniac actually get one? Yeah. Aw, he's not so useless after all. Got the ship. Yep. We bring it back. Is that what we're doing or no? Yeah, we're bringing it back. Okay. <laughs> You're like about to run into Maniac. It's like unsettling when they give you these in-between scenes because I'm like, what is, is like an unexpected Kilrathi just gonna show up out of nowhere? Maybe if we're unlucky. Can that really happen? No. <laughs> if we're unlucky, everything's game... pretty scripted. Yeah, I was gonna say what? It's, it's RNG, just depending on how the game feels. Random enemy encounters. <laughs> Take out your landing gear. So this is our space station. Yeah, the is, TCS Tiger Squad. Can that warship that we brought back land on it? Is it too small or big? Is it, you know what I mean? Is it size-wise or is it... It doesn't need to land. Okay. You know what's bonkers? We have a space station. You know what I mean? Like there is an international space station just up there floating around. Yeah. That's wild to me. That's, like, crazy cool. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's gonna fall one day. It's gonna get old, right? <laughs> it's like Xenon stuff. You ever seen Xenon? Girl of the 21st Century? Or no. 22nd Century? It was a Disney movie when we were kids. Like a live-action Disney Channel original. Mm -hmm. My sister and I used to love it. It was so funny. It took place, like, in the future. And they were on, like, a space station. And there was still Earth and stuff. But it was just, like... <laughs> So goofy. <laughs> so freaking goofy. If Selena was here, I bet she'd actually seen it too, because it was like right in our right in our childhood prime. <laughs> oh, funny maniac. Oh my gosh, those eyes. Yeah, keep peering around. <laughs> Sociopath. You seem to have dealt with it adequately. Enough of that though, let's review the mission. 
You took out seven of them, Maverick. Maniac wasted one of the hairballs. Dismissed. Nice. Oh man, we're gonna get Maniac fired. Hey, Maverick. You know, a couple of boys from Tactical were in here earlier. They were saying it was getting ugly on the planet Brimstone 2. Killer Athi Base's planet side are starting to get desperate. Looks like the furballs are ready to try just about anything. One fellow said it had all come down to supplies. If they can get enough supply ships past us to the planet, their bases on Brimstone 2 might throw off our blockade. So is it going to get heavier now? Probably. Ugh. Maverick. Colonel says we're going to be after transports soon. Just one thing to remember with big ships. Missiles. Save your missiles for the mothership. Your guns won't even scratch their paint. So when you're out of missiles, it's time to head home. Well, good, because you're That's literally... That's not so... true at all. Well, you're so concerted with missiles, we're like, fine. Yeah. Hello, Maverick. I was just trying to draw Casey here into, into a conversation. We're expecting to strike a number of Killerathi supply convoys soon. I was hoping to get some advice from our quiet comrade. Shoot him from behind. Their armor is weak around the engines. A couple of good shots in the pipes, and she blows. Boom. Game over. I love his eyes. Those slits for eyes. Yeah. I also love how you just blatantly call out Iceman. Like, that's not true. <laughs> just like, whatever. Where are we? How many kills now? 25 and 7 missions. Hey, we are coming up for you, Major Casey, with your 55 missions. We've done 7 missions? Yeah. Feels like we've not done 7. That's like, feels like, I don't know. Save early, save often, you guys. You're welcome. As you know, people, several warships have arrived in the last 48 hours. Most of these have headed in to besiege Kilrathi bases on Brimstone 2. Under this blockade, the planet is desperate for munitions and supplies. The Empire has dispatched dozens of Dorkir sports. Hoping at least a few of them will get past us and into Brimstone 2. There's way too much hanging time. It's so funny. Our mission is to make sure they don't get there. Maverick, you and Maniac are first up. So they're just sending us two again? Yeah. Why are they sending us with more people? You know what I mean? Because that's, uh, that's not how it works. <laughs> Got a large bogey near Nav 1. Alright, thanks, Dad. Tactical is pretty sure this is one of those inbound dork here. We've detected at least four smaller bogeys nearby. So watch out for fairly strong fighter escort. Colonel quickly assigns the rest of the wings, sending them to intercept other transports headed for Brimstone. Every transport that gets past us drags the siege out another week. So look sharp and don't let your target get past you. Squadron dismissed. You're like the dad who's like, Dad, why... why the sky blue? This is how it works! <laughs> <laughs> like the best explanation ever. Alright, so you and Maniac, I'm still on board for the Kill Maniac train if you ever, if you just get really aggressive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because he's sketch. Ooh, Jalfi. These are tougher ships? These are the toughest. Except they're pretty easy if you can get behind them. Alright, Sam. Like I'm about to do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bye, you guys. They're just like letting you get right behind them. How many different varieties of ships are there? Whoa, get off of my intercom! It looked like he was wearing a cat, like, hood. It looked like he was a cat wearing, like, a hoodie with a cat hood on it. Iceman wasn't wrong about this. Our missiles sound so anticlimactic. It literally sounds like somebody like... You know what it sounds like? It sounds like when your bowling ball comes back from the bowling ball return. After you throw it. Foom, foom, foom. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, maniac, there's something wrong with the intercom. Would you say that again? Sorry, we couldn't hear you. Must be jamming our signal. Sorry, maniac. Oh, oh, um, yeah, something's coming up. Sorry. One more time. Just give me that one more time, please. 
He's gone, isn't he? Yep. Oh no! Guys, Maniac bit the dust. R.I.P. Maniac. Wes, put the put the tombstone up. What did we start this blazer with? 2018 or 2019 or 2020? I was gonna say he can just put the hat for the the years. You definitely dispatched that other one, that other one pretty well. I wonder if they made any like replicas of these ships. You know what I mean? Like real, ver like just out of like plastic or something like that. Like little like, you know, toy figurine style. It would be interesting to see how they were like interpreted from pixel art to a fuller look. My offspring shall avenge me. You know that thing's got like nine of them because it's a cat. <laughs> it's probably got a whole freaking litter. Man, so we're by ourselves for the rest of this? Mm hmm. Poor maniac. Guys. He didn't have time to be crazy, I guess. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna see if I can stand up to four of these guys. All by my lonesome. Oh boy. Don't get greedy, get behind him. Oh man. It's one down. Nice! Jeez. Ooh. I don't know that I can handle all of them. <laughs> Maniac, we need you as a scapegoat. Oh, man. Jesus, how many missiles do these guys have? Accelerator observer set, yikes. Have you done like a playthrough of this where you try to like perfect every mission? Well, that's what I try to do anyways. I guess it was like an unfair question at some to some degree. It's like not a it's like not a small order though, it's a pretty pretty big deal. Especially like in this case, like I don't like could you really have done better this on the first phase of this to not let Maniac die? Probably. I don't know. From like this angle, it just seems like you're doing pretty good. Oh man. Plot freaking thickens. Whoa! They just maneuver like crazy, man. Man, you almost got him. He's not looking good. Yes! Alright. What is this, two more? Yep. Alright. Well, it looks like when they're flashing, it means they're they're doing pretty bad, right? Because mm -hmm. it looks like one of them's flashing on the... Oh, no, the... that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean anything. Oh, like a thing? It just means he's my active target. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Oh, jeez. The one's behind me. He's doing some work. Doing some work, probably gonna get paid, man. Man, this is rough. Check time. We're like over, but I didn't want to stop you. <laughs> oh no, don't worry about it. Alright guys, we gotta come back because 
You're getting bonus footage, but see if Tim can withstand it all. Bye, you guys.